Hey guys, Dreams here again. This is going to be What If Takemichi Was Jochiro. Jochiro is from the, mon the manga um, The Bouncer by, I believe it's Makoto Mizukawa. Let me check. Okay, it's it's Makoto, Makoto Mizuta. And he's the guy that made the manga out. And uh, yeah. I'm confident that the bouncer, I guess the bouncer side of the, the bouncer and out are in the same universe. I'm confident that outside of the universe could, could compare to the bouncer side, but the bouncers probably could mop the floor with the, with the two bit delinquent gang compared to them being basically just glorified Yakuza. Hell, the main character is blind in one eye, and I can guarantee you that he can prob 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 probably, mop, probably probably mop Achan. So, I'm confident in saying that. I like the man has had his eye gouged into it's why he's blind. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. So we should go on to Takemichi as an adult. It's where the biggest change would be. Takemichi's like teenage life is the exact same. But the only difference is he's a bit bigger. Like, he's on the bigger side, that's why it helped him just kind of just scare people away. Because the main character is like six foot, and he's considered really big. And then, well, Takemichi would need to be really big, and I guess he's been in Troy's fighter ever since, and even in back, like flashbacks, they're pretty brief, but we didn't know him. He's still pretty big, so I'd say Takemichi has been the same height since he was like, like, like 14, so he's been six foot for a good 10 years by now. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but as an adult, Takemichi is working in security, and he's working, he's working for, he's working for a company where the boss happened to be ex-Yakuza, and taught them just all lessons on just how to fight and everything. The company actually started with Takemichi was in middle school, he's heard about the company, he heard about the company back then, but didn't realize it was serious until he was an adult and he joined it. As an adult, he, used to, he actually does, does have his eye poked out, but instead of it being poked out, well, he had fought Mikey and had Mikey gouge it out. Like, 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 like Mikey tore out his eye. So... Yeah, like, here Mikey fought until face to stand still as adults. This is how strong adult Takemichi was. It was not even just raw skill, it was honestly just him with, um... It was honestly just him being, being able to somewhat counter Mikey's, like, karate, because... main character has a friend named, I believe, it's Hashiro, or Hashiro. Ha Hashiro uses karate, as it's stated. So Takemichi already knew how to do it because of just things he's seen. Or experienced as well. But Takemichi can tell that Mikey's karate is pretty inexperienced, as he hasn't really visited his grandfather's dojo for a while. But yeah. We went to Takemichi probably just when he's when he's just at the train stop. He's at the train stop with his with his hair in a ponytail, and while he's just while he's at the train, eventually someone does actually push him onto the tracks. He's pushed onto the tracks, well he's pushed in front of the train. And then it's like, like right on his feet. And he's able to jump and kick, kick back, he goes back on the train, landing on the side of the tracks. But as he stands up, suddenly, he basically ends up basically just looking ahead, seeing a multiple of Tomon looking at him. They all have bats and tiny knot, not tiny knot, so they have like bats and, uh, and knives. Some of them even have swords. And she laughs, saying, Why, is, why does this little gang a ding ding like you act like Yakuza? He's smirk putting his fist together, saying, And I'll show you that what Yakuza acts like so you, so you know your place. You must use charge full speed ahead, right these, right these guys, and beat them all down like it's nothing, and pretty easily. But by the time he's done, well, he'd beat everyone where he thought he did, until he'd see a glass of wearing man, look at him, Takemichi's like, Kisaki? But he says Kisaki slowly, he's like confused because he recognized the face. Until he realizes that Kisaki had stabbed him in the chest with a katana. Takemichi says, So you thought a frail man like me couldn't kill you? Yeah, so Takemichi gets like he says, sort of the chest. He recognized Kisaki when he was a kid, and he, didn't, he wouldn't want to fight him, but also Kisaki looked frail, so he underestimated him. Which is a good habit of the main character early on. So, yeah. And Takemichi's been in security for around a year or two now, but it's still really strong. He's comparable to Mikey in just, one, in just, just a year and around just two years. He still does get exonerated through the chest, then just kick kicked on the train tracks as the train, start, as the train starts all over again. But, but driving the train happens to be Sanzu, so Sanzu started it unten intentionally. The Sanzu being basically just, well, Sanzu running over Takemichi. Well, Takemichi will suddenly appear in the future. My future, I mean, the past. The past, he's still pretty big, 
But also his hair's a lot longer than his, his, I mean, his, his adult. His hair's about as long as Mikey's is. Usually, Mikey's hair is like a bit past his shoulders. Like Mikey's hair as an adult is a bit, bit to his neck, at least. Like I said, his hair saying, jeez, jeez, this hair sounds sucked. And Takamichi's actually pretty smart. She's actually able to, able to find out how easy it is to determine this is their real past. But eventually, he'd actually just go to the bathroom at the hamburger store they're at and cut his hair. They see him walk out, it's like his hair's a bit styled up, and they think it looks really cool. Takamichi also acknowledges his body is pretty decently built, built for his age. He's gotten a lot of fights, hasn't really won too many, but still, he's in good shape from decent fights. And, well, they're able to acknowledge it. He's able to acknowledge that pretty. They're not, he's able to acknowledge it. Well, this Takamichi basically just end up going with his friends and talking to Kiyomasa. Kiyomasa would just go in for a punch as Takamichi is talking to the defeat situation. But he thought Takamichi wouldn't be able to dodge it, or catch it at all, or block it at all. Because Takamichi seemed to be basically just some bland idiot. At least, at least from like what he's heard, he seemed to be a bland idiot, because, well, no one ever says that he's going to fight seriously against people like Kiyomasa. Maybe I'm going to Kiyomasa, basically. Kiyomasa seemed to be, should be a basic thug. But Takamichi's, yes, like, he knows how to intimidate people pretty well, I guess, as a teenager, even though it kind of sucked, and I think about it as an adult. But yeah, Takamichi is decent with, the, decent with, the, with intimidation that scared off people. people. But Kiyomasa wouldn't back down. Takamichi had caught, had caught basically the punch of Kiyomasa. Then just, just with one swift motion, able to twist and flip Kiyomasa into a full, into a full 360 in the air. That Kiyomasa would suddenly expect to hit the ground. Takamichi would just dig his elbow down. And then Kiyomasa right in the jaw, knocking him out. But asking, asking where he learned that because he's just, well, like, he never really usually done that before. So he should have the rest of Kimasa's thugs telling them that he was thinking, thinking all, down, all down by himself and all at once. Like he charged full speed ahead of me and beating down everyone pretty easy. Yeah, so Takemichi basically just will fight all Kimasa's crew by, by himself. Just once his body's pretty slow and not really well, too well trained. But still, yeah, it's, de- it's decent strength and reaction speed. So that Takemichi basically just, well, after the fight was over, well, he has a few hours and, well... He, he remembers this day pretty vividly. He, he, he went to see Hina right, right, right after getting his ass kicked. But, well, he didn't do that. Well, it took him a long time with that beating he took to get to, to, get to her house. Because, like I said, before his body, this does have decent, decent physical strength, so he did use it pretty, pretty decently. But technically, he basically go to the gym for the next few hours and be getting his body back into shape. Not back into shape, but getting his body into shape. But, yeah. The only time that's... Uh, with him, with, Eventually, it is time for him to see Hina, and he, he, he would go to her house. Then he went to her house, he noticed his hair was a bit shorter, and it was also small like he took a shower for once. So I think he seemed like a very dumb delinquent as a kid. But this one feels a lot more adultish and well, smart. And technically, this adult is actually, it wasn't dating Hina, but there's a time, they're trying, they're trying to turn it back together. And that's the main reason he was killed. He was turning back together with Hina, and Takamichi almost killed Mikey like, 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 the, like the day before that. But he didn't seem like he got almost got almost beat up at all. Their boss kind of taught him, taught them to like put on makeup if they're ever just beat up and like kind of he like. Luckily, well, like Kimichi as an adult learned how to learn how to apply makeup, nail polish, ballet. He learned a lot of things that he was not proud of, but he did find out that he was really proud of it once he was actually able to use it properly. Like he he couldn't tell. Takamichi was basically covered in, covered in just scratches, bruises, and a lot of things, just because he learned how to apply makeup. So it worked out for him. No, the nail polish. Polish was honestly just for fun. He learned that just by like a side thing, but yeah. Eventually he's leaving. Then he's now season not season not so being being picked on. But suddenly he kicked one of the kids in the back, and the kid got sent not flying, got sent flying. Like, yeah, he got air time at least. Kid hit the ground, talking she'll double buzz off. That can be seems pretty intimidating. That can be seen as something in this body. Well, he just realized that if you, his body it seems seems to be in pretty decent shape, but he has to get it. Back into gear, really. But Takamichi would look at Naoto and him and Naoto talk, they shake hands, and he said back to the back in time. Not back in time, but back gets forward in time. But then he'd meet future Naoto and future Naoto, future Naoto explains what happened. And Takamichi had fought all the Stall Swan members, and then he got stabbed by Kasaki. Well, originally he isn't stabbed. Kasaki, Kasaki gets tased, but was actually able to spin around and cut Naoto and cut Naoto's face a bit. But then Kasaki would escape, and, uh, well, Takamichi lived. Sanzu wasn't arrested, he escaped as well, but, yeah. Well, but still, Takamichi understood what was happening. He even told, told Naoto, he, 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 got a, he, got, he got a grip on how it works. 
and probably the body wouldn't work how it does when he is not in the future. Tells him his body is probably probably roaming around right now, so he so shouldn't say too long. But him and also have similar references, if not despite not also being a cop. So that's like and not also being talking, and then she able able, able to get they get a lot more info together. Not also being a cop, and Takemichi being one of the higher ups of these of the of the Tokyo Fist Security Company. One of the higher ups is actually through through sheer skill, but also his personality. He was rambunctious as like as like a young teen. As he got older, kind of simmered down a bit to be more timid. Then as an adult, he combined that all together. So he's not really timid, but he's not stubborn at all either. He's actually a pretty decent guy, but he knows timing, timing for emotions and tone. So that helped him out a decent amount. But Takemichi and Naruto share info about about Tomon after they share to share enough of it. Which is Takemichi just head back to the past again, only to wake up. Was well, I guess he felt like he woke up to see a fist coming at his face, but immediately he puts his fingers in front of it and twists tilts that punch immediately. Now it wasn't something that would break his fingers immediately, but the tilt he did uh, would, would wasn't actually something that would, it would hurt. It's like it'd be like having your fingers jammed with a football. Takemichi has has a good pain tolerance, so he didn't care. So the punch is tilted. And well, the guy who punched at him would actually be actually be isn't like this was dead down to one knee, like like guess rolling to one knee. And Takemichi looked down, saying, "Actually, Akun." And so Akun, what he's doing? And Akun says, "Is don't you remember you're, you're sparring with us? You didn't teach us how to fight." And he says, "Takemichi just thinks to himself, saying, what did I get myself into?" And thinks, saying, "Hmm, if I trained them hard enough, I could have friends as employees and co-workers." And said, "Oh yeah, my bad. I, I, I'll bring you out for a bit." Takemichi puts his fist up and teaching them the basics of what he knew from the Tokyo Fist Company. And every time he's done, they all got a good, decent understanding. And he told them that, well, there's, there's a company arising called the Tokyo Fist. And that, once they're strong enough, he's going to have them have them apply to it. He said that, that the boss used to be ex-Yakuza. Takemichi says he has an interest in joining as well, but not you know, because of the Yakuza thing. But suddenly, they, 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 see, they see a moment of running to Takemichi. Pretty beaten up and looks like he might die any second. He's, he's almost, looks like he's, he's going to heal over and die. He saw this as being a bit infuriated as he actually showed Aku telling him to get to get to, to get Yamamoto to the hospital. Aku would nod as he picks up Yamamoto and runs full speed ahead. It's only someone tries to to basically throw a bat at Aku. Like he should cut it, throwing it back and over through it, and it decks like actually breaks from the person's face. Now the whole crowd that was actually that was actually well at the whole like fighting arena thing that Kiyomasa set up, Takemichi would actually be ha- having to face all of them. But well, Takemichi would fight them all. As he fights them all, well, honestly, Takemichi isn't like he isn't winning, but he's not losing. It's more like just a giant stalemate. Takemichi is actually is actually able able, able to compare to adult Manjiro, so yeah. But Takemichi is trying to simmer down so he doesn't kill any kids. So, so Takemichi basically just basically just means like fighting against against everyone here. And it's so actually in the middle of like, the schoolyard, and eventually, eventually the cops are called. But the cops don't arrive, saying that there's you know, to be a new place in town that, that, needs, that needs a bit, a bit of rep, but they're also, they're also still experienced fighters. So eventually, with that, the to, Tokyo to, 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 to company would arrive, and he's actually talking to standing over a few, like half of the knockout crowd, and he's panting, and he's just fist still up. As he's fighting, well, the boss will actually realize Takemichi uses a few moves that he uses in a fight. Well, Shaka is saying, huh. The kid reminds me of myself when I was younger. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even that, that old yet. He just smirks, and well, the, the boss currently is roughly around twenty nine. Like he means he's fourteen, <laughs> but still pretty tall for fourteen years old. So like means he keeps basically just fighting, fighting everyone. But eventually, the quarter that's left, we're the better. We're the better fighters. Like Michi is still a better skin, more, more, more skilled, stronger, obviously. All the stats are right about are, are over them. But he has lost much energy and doesn't have as much in, endurance left. So, yeah. So, yeah, so that Takemichi would basically just end up, well, uh. Takemichi basically just ends up, uh, well. The boss would actually catch Takemichi is falling out from consciousness. It's a boss there's time Kimasa telling him to buzz off. I'm supposed to not saying, you buzz off, old man. Only for, only for the boss to actually pull the knife away from Kimasa and stab him right in the shoulder, telling him, no, you buzz off. And immediately, Kimasa just, just ran off screaming in pain. 
Yeah. So yeah, so with that, Takemichi basically would wake up, wake up in like, like just a nurse's office like place. And uh, yeah. So Takemichi looks around, seeing the boss of the, of the Turkey Fist Company, and the boss actually asks Takemichi to learn how to fight. Which he says, oh, uh, uh, so you should be interested to think about this, trying to just make sure he, can, he doesn't, doesn't lie to his boss. It's possibly sure that they never lied to him. And even though the boss can, wouldn't, wouldn't be able to tell that he, that he was lying, he still wouldn't do it. It would terrify him. Which then says, uh, well, I guess I started going going to the gym not, not like a few months ago. And then I started just thinking about what maybe would make sense in a fight against fruit thugs. None, none of them are experienced fighters. They're pretty basic. And the boss actually says, what do you do if someone uses, uses a, what do you think, what do you, what do you fight, fight if you fight someone amateur? He says, well, they're usually going to go for a very extended right hook, so I would probably dodge and kick out their leg. Boss, boss has something show and talking to you to do so, but the boss wouldn't budge. I guess you knew this already. So soon as the boss didn't budge and kick, he sort of swept out of the boss's foot, picked him up, and body slammed him. Or the boss landed in his hands and kick himself, not kick, but push himself back up, then grab him for the collar, throwing him into a wall. We should slump over the wall, chuckling, saying, damn, you're strong. The boss actually just starts chuckling, chuckling, she says, no, no reason. As he stands up, actually asks if he can get a job here. He uh, doesn't really have a job, or any family, so to say. The boss says, really, no family at all. And he says, uh, nope, kind of been a, been an orphan for a while. My orphanage kicked kick, kick me out for being a thug. The, this one, this one, like, basically, the boss says, hmm, your skills isn't worth too much right now with that body. Get into shape and prove your skills are better. And I might and I might consider you. But so far right now you're just a janitor who's sleeping in here. If you're not saying, Oh, I didn't ask for a security job, I just asked for a job. He just smiled and the boss and I'm not a Takemichi. Takemichi began working out, and the boss would stop Takemichi and push himself with different kinds of push ups. Basically put basically on the basically on the forearms, up like just based on two hands, straight to position, you, it works. Then try to do one arm. It was a little bit harder, but he's able to do it. But then try to do it on his fingertips, on both hands. And he's really able to get down halfway. We see him actually sighed, saying that until until, until he can do it, he can do it do it perfectly with one with one arm, he's not he's not he's not he's not gonna stop working out. But then we go on to the next day, Takemichi would basically be going to school. Oh yeah. Yeah, so Takemichi basically just goes try to go to school the next day, only be can be confronted by basically just the same card he fought yesterday. But only a quarter of them are there. The ones that beat him up. They think they can beat him up again. As they don't know the value of someone's fighting spirit. Well, well, none, none of them do. None, none, of them, none of them had the knowledge to actually think that because he was tired, that they could have won. But yeah. But that can make you be sitting there saying, yeah, you guys think you can beat me right now. So yeah, we beat you yesterday. Eugene says, I was tired. Then he starts holding his head. That can Kimasa right in the jaws are hard. That came also spit out teeth. Like, like I don't like you must like think I was like there are two teeth in your mouth you must spit out like fourteen of them with that one punch. And then he told his fist was only like big knuckles going straight into the teeth. Next one came also got sent back and come back and you see them just did another combo. Then he came also right in the mouth again, spitting out the, the, the remainder of his teeth. Then he inside as he dashed full dash forward again and beat down the rest of the quarter that beat that, that thought they beat him up yesterday. Now that Mikey, Mikey, had, Mikey had arrived, well, he arrived the moment Takemichi began fighting Kiyomasa. But when Takemichi punched and fought, the way Takemichi was doing it, Takemichi seemed just like he knew how to fight already, like he's been doing it for years. And Takemichi was in training for more than two years. He's had, he, he's had a security guard job for two years. But they had to, they had to put, him, put him through some really tough training with some guy named Todai. Todai gave him hell. So Todai was the kind of guy to get stabbed in the lung and then get back up a week later. And that's what happened. The manga ended this, but not even a week, probably, probably for Toadai, I'm pretty sure it's like a month or two, but, yeah. yeah but Takemichi was put, was put through months, like, not months, put through almost four years of hell by Todai for, for training. Like, Takemichi asked, asked for a job at 22 years old. He trained him for four years until he's 26. I'm 26. But his training could go going until he was 26 years old, but he got the job at, 20, at 24. So, yeah. So Takemichi basically just, well, well, he talks to Mikey, 
And, well, you can't believe that that cold-hearted bastard as an adult is this warm kid in Manji Osano. And it amazed him. But eventually, well, Takenichi and Mikey get along well enough. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. But, basically, um, Takenichi and Mikey do talk for a bit. And Mikey's amazed to see someone, someone probably as strong as him at Draken's size. Takenichi seemed to move really fast compared to Draken. Seem to have just raw power and skill matching his. So, yeah. But eventually, Takamichi and Mikey began talking a bit more, and Mikey asked Takamichi to become his friend. Takamichi nodded, saying, Yeah, sure, why not? Without the boss, we'll walk up Takamichi, saying, There, that was better, Takamichi. Better display than yesterday. He says, Did you see the full display yesterday? You saw half of it. Boss says, eh, Fair enough. I've seen those skills. You're just like me. You have my power. You have my power, you have my skill, so to say. Alright, so basically, boss was she offered Jane Takamichi, but still giving the job as gender, and Takamichi agreed. When Takamichi met Todai, well, Todai was a bit younger and a bit more reckless. He knew this. Todai admitted it as an adult. Well, Todai's already an adult right now. Todai's in his 30s, and Takamichi is trained by him. When Todai and him fight, Todai and him fight, Takamichi already knew a lot of Todai's moves. Todai refined them as an adult, but he kept using them, well, he kept using them as an adult. He had the same technique since he was roughly a teenager, but kept using them as an adult, but refined them, refined them a bit later in life. These moves are still, are still decently in the middle of being refined, but Takamichi already knew the refined moves. These reckless ones were trash. Takamichi needed a new counter to them, but, well, Todai had superior physical strength and speed and everything else. But I totally not just that after, after the fight thing, because Takamichi sort of like, go to the thing, but, yeah. But Todai does acknowledge, like, Takamichi is insanely strong and knew how to counter Todai's martial arts. And Todai acknowledge that Takamichi also, 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 also dislocated his arm with, with one of his movements. It's because this is like called Todai a reckless, a reckless piece of trash. And I mean, Todai just laughs, saying, Yeah, that's exactly what I am. I'm not denying that. Takamichi says, I, was, I wasn't telling you to deny it. I'm just saying that's what you are. But yeah. Then she fast forward the next day. Takamichi would, would be, leaving, be leaving the whole, whole security, Tokyo, secu- Tokyo Fist Security Office. As he left, at least covered in sweat. He's been up since 4 a.m. training. But he would go into class where Mikey, where Mikey would walk up, and as Mikey's about to jump on one of the students, Takamichi basically ended up putting his fist on oh, his fist, his phone on students, then kicked him back. And this guy ends up, I mean, he almost does a little flip, as almost hit his face. But yeah. But Takamichi would basically tell Mikey that he shouldn't, he shouldn't, he shouldn't step on his students. Mikey guess why not? They try to make a fight with him first. I mean, he says that he'll handle that himself, but other than that, don't fight them. Or don't, t- or don't, don't do anything that would harm them. But yes, Takamichi was going to do about it. Before Takamichi did anything else, he will slap, try to slap Mikey. Only well, Takamichi should block her hit, telling her, and you little lady don't do anything else either. They actually put it at Draken saying, and if you ball your fist up one more time, I'm going to tell him I'm going to tear your eyes out. And Takamichi suddenly had to put his finger in front of Mike, not funny, in front of Draken's eye, and Draken didn't even see Takamichi move yet. It was shocked in the mind that Takamichi moved that fast. But yeah. Hold up. So after the day of school, of Draken actually being terrified by Takamichi's speed, and Mikey being impressed with Takamichi's guts, and Hina being let Takamichi was defending her that, that well, despite him usually just being, it's pretty trashy. But even when Takamichi's not in his adult body, when adult Takamichi isn't in his kid and teenager body anymore, Takamichi seems to be being a bit more adultish, as when Takamichi does, does act like a chump, or like a, like a typical delinquent, the boss beats him up. <laughs> so yeah. Takamichi's actually very proud of this, because his body is getting stronger even when he's not in it. That's how hard the boss is training him. No matter how Takamichi acts, the boss will train Takamichi. The boss just just, just hops us up Takamichi being a teenager, and still being rough around the edges in terms of personality, trying to to figure out who he truly is. That's what the boss tried to trip it up to. But yeah. But Takamichi still has to go to Hina's house. His mother doesn't want to Takamichi. He doesn't seem as rooted and rambunctious as as before. He seems a bit more calm and adultish. Takamichi and Hina's mother talk for a bit. They get along pretty well. So it's like Michi would head back to the future at some point, after like actually holding hands on Naoto. And in the future, he actually does already know about Akun a bit. And that's to say that Akun actually got a job with Tokyo Fist Security. But he left, he left not long after he joined, as he was arrested, as he, as he was arrested for assault. Some guy was harassing a girl in a bar, and the guy happened to be a lawyer, that's why he was doing it. Akun, Akun basically, basically tried to get the guy out, tried to get the guy out, and the guy basically ended up tasing him. Akin, Akin, Akin tough through it, and 
Raccoon ends up basically hitting the guy in the face so hard that he spit out teeth. So yeah. So. Alright, so, yeah, technically she basically already knew everything about Akun, as well, he got in the future, and then wasn't with Naoto, he was at home, and then did a bit of research. Eventually, him and Naoto would do both link up to go see Akun, so he basically walked in wearing the Tokyo the security uniform, looking just like this. And as he does notice his body's a bit more bulkier, and he's a bit stronger, you can feel it. Some guys try to stop Takemichi as they're in his uniform, but well, they tried, they had to get slammed into walls and blood splatters against the wall. And now to just wonder how much Takemichi, how much of a beast Takemichi is if he's if he's in the lower rank of the Tokyo Fist. And Takemichi, the only thing he has on him is he's trying to turn my Todai, my Todai and the boss. No matter what, he's still in the lower rank. The only thing he knows is counter counter to a few martial arts, being basically basically do do forms of karate, taekwondo, and a bit of jiu-jitsu. A bit, not not a lot of it. He can counter at least at least orange belts, and that's it. If there's orange belt in, in like in jiu-jitsu, I forgot. Black Michi and Akun still talk, and Akun still does jump off the roof. Michi would be upset, but tells Kisaki that he's going to kill him someday. Kisaki is going gonna, 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 gonna to regret the day he picked a fight with him. No matter how long it lasts, this battle battle will end in Kisaki's death. I'll make sure of it. Well, explain Kisaki is shocked that Takamichi knew he was there. But he doesn't know if Takamichi was boasting out to the world, or if Takamichi knew he was there. But Naoto doesn't know Takamichi was really strong, and thought, thought Takamichi knew he was there. No, Takamichi's so boasting that out to the world. He doesn't know Kisaki's there. <laughs> Takamichi's still kind of a fool. But yeah. But when Takamichi would head down and decide to still save everyone. Because he still does have that thing, have that thing but he doesn't cry. He refuses to cry to cry often. But Takamichi would wake up, and well, he's, not, he's still wearing the janitor uniform, or at least the, like, the pants of it. But he's wearing, wearing basically a white shirt. This is, this is, this is Tokyo Fist Security. And he's kind of sitting inside of a house, not a house, but sitting inside a restaurant, and, and he's eating dinner with Hina, actually. Someone wandered in with some guy, some drunk, drunk, drunk guy who seemed to be pretty old, leading to the other girl is basically his age, she's 14. The uniform she's wearing happens to belong to an all-girls academy, and he, he knows the uniform all too well. Him and his friends used to hang out there, if he doesn't to pick up girls and fail miserably, he's seen her a few times too. And him and Enna, not uh, Enna, him and Emma have, have seen each other a few times, and she recognized him. Well, well, not that she, well, she did, but he recognized her. But Takemichi grabbed the guy by the arm and squeezed it. This guy immediately just yelled in pain and fell to his knees. Takemichi told him that if, he that if the guy bothers the girl again, he's going to kick out all of his teeth. He says, he says you, 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 you can do this to me. Oh, cop. He says, yeah, and you're a cop harassing an underage girl. Get the hell out of here. Let's go. And the guy ran off, ran off holding his hand with a very obvious grip and bruise imprint. Takemichi looked at her closely before actually seeing a bit of Mikey in her, saying... Uh, are, are you Montreal's sister? She's not saying, yeah, you know Mikey? He says, do you know, do you know when, the, when the Toman meeting is? He told, told me there was one today, but I forgot. I mean, he says, oh, um, it's over, uh, I, I, can show, I can show you the way. And he told Lena, come on. As he ended up throwing a sack of cash to, the, to, the, to, basically, to basically their waiter. We the way to thank them for, the, for, their, for their, like, I guess, security. He's from the Takamichi jacket. He says, oh, no, 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 no. I'm a janitor. And the talk of the janitor is that strong. But you know, talking she should be. I guess as an adult, even he should be closer, to, closer to like the like an average tier. But no, he's still kind of like, kind of like, still like. Guess it'd be easier to fire him than anyone else. He's still kind of like considered a recruit by by, by a few guys. Mm. Talking she basically would head down to the meeting, and well, at the meeting, Pachin does actually try to like intimidate Takamichi. So Mikey says, "Oh no, 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 you don't want to do that." And Pachin says, "Why not, Mikey? This, this guy seems like he's more special." Plus. Plus, our, boy, our boy's in the hospital because of him. Like he says, like he's as strong as me. Uzo uh, dropped as they look at Takemichi. They look at the, the, the shirt seeing Tokyo, Tokyo Fist Security. With that, Akuni, Yamamoto, Yamagishi, and Tuski walk up, and they look like they're being to hell. Takemichi asks, oh, how's, how's, how's Torai? They say, Takemichi, please kill us. And Takemichi says, nope, uh, training, tra tra training's rough, I know. But eh, he can do it. And he's been thinking to himself, saying, I've been doing it, doing it for almost six years. It's terrifying, I know. So he tweets that he gets to know him. He's thinking, it's probably what he's saying. He's just thinking, just like, wait till he gets to know him. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be less horrible. So, yeah. But when she's talking to me, she about the whole thing that Morbius did. And, well, they can, well, they can, all, they can all agree that Morbius is horrible. 
Moby's like you know, the worst gang ever. Then Mikey does see Takamichi getting a bit boiled up. It's Takamichi just had a strong sense of justice. Well, as an adult, he did. As a teenager, it was a, he, he had no sense of justice. But, you know. Takamichi was obviously said about Mikey and Draken. And eventually they ask him why he's so riled up. Takamichi says he hates scum like that. And then Pachin says, well, Why do you care? You never met the guy. And he says, I don't care if I never met him. I'm going to kill a leader of Morbius. Not Morbius, of Mobius. I'm going to murder him in the middle of the street. And everyone saw that he had a very grim look on his face. Takamichi did have a good... Hold up. Alright, so Takamichi... He's a strong as a justice, but has an extreme way of going about it. Like, his sense of justice is a mixture of Aki Inu and Kuzan's. Like, he has a sense of, I guess, warm justice, but also a very sense of cold justice. Or, I guess, like, a very like, extra, like, absolute justice, but also a bit more loose on some parts of it. Like, like the way he's like, coming to Aki Inu and Kuzan, like, if Aki Inu sees a kid stealing, he'd beat the shit out of the kid. Like, Kuzan would let the kid go. He wish he would do, beat the shit out of him or, or let them go, depending on their age. But Aki Inu would do it regardless. You see, like someone his age stealing, like if Sakichi was like 26 and saw 14 or so, then he'd beat up the 14 year old. So a 9 year old stealing, he'd let, he'd let the 9 year old go with like, like a slap in the back of the head. So yeah. If they're like 5 years old stealing, Sakichi would just let them go, but to take back what they stole. So like the current person Sakichi is. You know, he'll offer you up if you know, if you know that, if, you, if you're if you old enough to know what's right from wrong. But yeah. The next day, Sakichi does like he's he on Mikey and Draken. And if he's following around, he does acknowledge what they're doing and thinks that Draken's the good guy too. But Mikey's a good guy too, but Mikey doesn't know how to act properly. Mikey's like, like a giant child to him. Not a giant child, Mikey is, is, legit, is legit like 5'3". Like he's not that big. <laughs> Combined with Mikey's older, older than Takamichi, he's 5'4", and he's still not that big, but yeah. We still eventually Takamichi went back to the future, and him and Naoto meet Osunai. I mean, she's like, is like really, really wanting to be the shadow of Osunai. But then he hears how traumatized Osunai sounds after the whole events of the of like just what Kasaki ordered him not ordered him what Kasaki controlled him to do about the whole uh fight fight fight, fight between, between Mobius and Tomon. I mean, she feel really bad for really bad for him. But I think she basically had to punch Osunai in the face before leaving, telling Osunai that Osunai Osunai should, should regret and pray on what he's done his whole life. She never she never she never let go of that life that was lost that day. Osunai ends up holding his holding his broken nose. You know, Takamichi's right. The emotion he feels of just realizing this, that he never thought about that. He thought about it for a few days at the most, maybe months. But he never thought about it ever again. Takamichi's right. He needs to dwell and realize he never tried to seek, I guess, re rep he never tried to repent for actions he's caused. Yeah. So yeah, but so with this we go on to Takamichi, right? Just going back to the past where he'd be in the warehouse with Mikey, Draken, Pacha, and Payon. Well, so he's wearing wearing just a plain black plain plain black sh black shirt, or jeans and sandals. But also during the training, well, he yeah, he suddenly got poked in the eye by Akun, and he's not blind, but he has to wear glasses. His eye his eye stings for a bit. So this glass is honestly just for just for just for a few weeks. At this point, Takamichi tells how he even looks just like this. He looks just like that. Just take away the Tokyo Fist security thing, and give him shorts. But yeah. But Takamichi basically immediately had just like kicked, like not kicked, he didn't even kick anyone. But as soon as like Moby's been walking in, as soon as I want to henchman walk through the door, they're kicked right in the face of Takamichi and sent flying over all their friends, not over them, into the crowd of them, and pushing everyone back. But soon as everyone began trying to run at Takamichi, he began Takamichi being punching them down until he saw Osunai. They turned around, telling Pachin he can handle them himself, he'll make sure that they know that no one butts in. Then he stood in front of everyone else, and as he actually would see, um, he would see, basically, just pay on up beside him alongside Draken. And Mikey would end up watching Pachin carefully. Now that Takamichi would fight against everyone else with, with Payon and Draken by his side, and he knows that Takamichi has insane skill. So yeah, by the time Takamichi's done, if you guys are missing their teeth, if you guys, if you guys are, if you are too hurt to move, well, then with Takamichi's power is good, but he's extreme in some some techniques. And the director has a question, necessarily realized that the guy that Takamichi was extreme on were holding, like, knives, or just, or sharp objects. 
Redemption says that these guys deserve it. They're cowardly enough enough to bring weapons to weapons to, weapons to a street fight between teenagers. Half of these guys look thirty, so they just show how cowardly they are and how much they deserve it. Yeah. But then we'll probably just move on to the next arc, which would be I forgot. We have Mikey um versus uh versus Pachin. Not Pachin, my Mikey versus Osanai. No, Osanai, I mean, it just gets like like he still beats up Pachin pretty badly. But as soon as Pachin posts Osanai shot going on the last kick, I think she just kicks Osanai right in the fist. Letting him that the fight's over. She should know when to stop. Osanai's the oldest out of all of them, he should be setting an example for his men. Even though some of them are older than him. But yeah. But then with that, Mikey just be Osanai. And Osanai gets charging back up and use a weapon to like stab Mikey or Mikey or Takamichi. But Jack won't to stop him. Then as soon as Pachin here to stab like Osanai. They all, they all hear Ninja Takamichi wins in pain, so they wonder what's what, what going on. This is Takamichi stopping Pachin's blade with his own hand. And she may be able to push it back. But Takamichi stares down uh, Pachin, telling him that the fight's over, and he should he should not resort to such cowardly tactics. And says, No, that bastard needs to die. You said it yourself. And she says, says, Yeah, but I forgot for, I forget that he's barely at, he's barely our age. He wouldn't he would, he doesn't need to die. He needs jail time. He needs to think about what he's done. Pacha tries to pull the knife out of Takamichi's hand. Only then Takamichi has this good muscle control that the knife isn't moving. Takamichi starts down Pachin, telling him if he, if he doesn't let go of the knife, he's going to knock him out. Pachin yelled, Trap me, you bastard. Trap me. He needs to die. As he wants that Osanai. Only get elbowed right in the chin and knocked out. Payon already knew he was coming and just caught Pachin and picked him up, telling Takamichi, Thank you. Takamichi was just not a Payon and walk away, pulling the knife out of his hand with his teeth. And basically, in the Kind of end up picking up like Osanai's sweater. That's what was like jacket tear off the sleeve of it and wrapping it around his hand, saying, Damn, this hurts. But he's been seasoned to that before, a few times actually, but eh, not in this body, so the body's a bit more sensitive. The issue with this is there's no, there's no feud between Tomon at all. Like there's no Mikey or Jack insides. Actually, it's all, well, Takamichi, Takamichi and all them, like, like it's considered just like, this are really, really powerful because he seems to be showing off skills comparable to Draken. No, no one believes he's as strong as Mike. No one did, but they, they can believe he's as strong as Draken is. So it works out. Moving on to the next arc, which uh, like Michi does agree to the festival. He knows that's what happens. And then they do go to the did I say funeral festival. I mean, the other huge the festival. Hina. And when he goes, it's kind of like a double date between him and Draken, and you know, like him and Draken going going on a date with Emma and Hina. Like Michi's going to take taking Hina. And then Draken taking Emma, but yeah. You know. Takamichi would, would realize that Hina's shoes are kind of too tight and they hurt her feet. Like she would end up picking up Hina, and she's trying to buy her new shoes, but no one's selling shoes in her size. Oh. So what he does is just kind of carry Hina on his back the whole time. Hmm. But yeah, but Takamichi would actually hear would actually hear talk in the forest and actually put Hina down. I'm not like a bench telling her, telling her, can sit like crisscross. She would free as he tells her, wait here. He walks through the forest, only to see Kiyomasa with like kind of like a banjo in his mouth, just grunting and mumbling, and someone translating what he's saying. A lot of it is basically about killing Takemichi and killing killing Draken. He's walking out saying, if you want to kill me, kill me right here. Kill me, kill me right now, I'm right here. The little guy starts to turn around and just appears to start to stab Takemichi. He has a banjo in his hand and looks like he's been stabbed already. Well, she does scare, she does scare a few of the guys, but so she twisted their arm, then just pops up them right in the chin. You know the guy bite off his own tongue. The, the, the best way to describe this beating is the way that if you guys have read the bouncer, if you guys know the dog face, like the dog mask guy, by reverse like the random thugs, it's just like Michi's doing it, just less brutal. The only thing he did too badly was striking out a face against a tree and making the guy bite off his own tongue. I mean, she called an ambulance telling him that some, some man bit off his tongue, he just come get him really, really fast. And she said, come, and the guy's bleeding out rapidly. They didn't get there, but the guy died. And like she explains what he did, how the guy tried to punch him, and he just punched the guy in the face back. And like she just qualifies self-defense, but and because he's a minor, they also let him off with a warning, so it worked out. And then this guy happened to be a grown man selling knives to minors, though, so, yeah. But we move past this on the Takemichi. You can call about, can call for Michi about Draken. Takemichi ran immediately, telling Hina to call her dad. Uh, to, to, it's not call her dad, just call, which that's when the cops tell them who her dad is, and they'll give her a ride home. If you do the and they do give her a ride home. 
Let me make sure we jump, we jump right over right, 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 her railing. See, you can tell where Gracken was. I'm just turning on here on hearing. He is really hearing. So this is really about to eat, but as soon as Gracken is hitting that pipe, Gracken should be able to block it. And then some guy would go in for a punch. I'm trying to lock it with the elbow. And then drive his elbow into the guy's fist as hard as he can, breaking around three fingers. But then he's on the moments on his elbow to spin around and knock the guy right in the nose with it, breaking his nose, and then hitting the guy right in the chin with it from behind. Like, two times, like, he's just some of the elbow on the guy's shin and knocked him out. Then like, he should cut, 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 cut the guy's two pipes, and then maybe beating up everyone around him, except for Draken and Emma. Until Draken that meets he should be here here in a bit with backup. But for now, he'll defend he'll defend Draken. It's like Nichi that she's laughing. Oh, Takemichi, I'm here too. As he sees Todai behind him with dozens of women surrounding him. Todai tells the woman to just go away. He'll end this, he'll end this from here with a student. Just, oh, never mind, Draken. Tell Nichi this this will end, end, end in like two minutes. Uh, Draken will call Nichi tell him what happened. Until most of, the, most of the Tokyo Fist security had arrived. Besides the boss, that is. But Takemichi and all of them began fighting against, against Mobius, and the fight ended in, in literally just, just 50 seconds. But yeah. So yeah. But eventually the fight's over. So on our, Mikey, Mikey and Mitsuya still arrived. Dragon's in pretty rough shape, but he's still in the hospital just for like a few my few my few my, my, my bruises and cuts. But yeah. But I'm probably gonna end this part here. If you guys enjoyed though, like and subscribe for more. Adios.